the, the fact is, is that God sees much before we do, and, he, and all these visions are given, and, and it, they're all way in advance. And the implication for us is that when the Bible instructs us on what we're supposed to do, it's because God knows what's coming. I mean, when you as a parent, you get this. You with your kids, they do something stupid, and you're like, listen... I know what I'm talking about, and, and, and can I just tell you, I'm no prophet, and I'm not saying that I got a crystal ball into your life, but I can look in the rearview mirror of my life and tell you, here's what's in your future if you keep doing that stuff, and, and you can be fairly certain. Now, imagine that you did have a crystal ball, and you could say exactly what was going on. This is what it is with God. There's a, there's, there's a story that's told in, in 1 Samuel 16, and basically what's happened there is Saul has been disobedient, and God's given him the boot. He says, you're out, and he tells the prophet Samuel, go to the house of Jesse, pick from his house the man who I've chosen to, to be the future king of Israel. And so Samuel goes, and he sees Jesse's oldest son, Eliab, and he comes out, and Jesse looks at the guy, and he's like, well, check this guy out. He, this is certainly the king. He looks like a king. His physical stature and all, and, and he's a good-looking guy, and, 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 and God speaks to Jesse. And he, and he basically says, look, don't look at his appearance. Don't look at his physical stature. He says, for God does not see as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance. And that's what we do. We have a tendency as flesh and blood, as human beings, to look at situations and circumstances by what we can see and we figure out, hey, here's what, what I'm going to do. But God doesn't operate that way. So often what happens with the Lord when he speaks to us is it doesn't make sense. That for us, we look at it, we go from a pragmatic standpoint, from a practical standpoint, this, is, this doesn't make sense. This is inconvenient. This doesn't, and, and, and what we have to recognize is that when God instructs us in his word, it's because he knows what he's talking about. And we have to listen to him. 